Hi guys, have you recalled this place? Two years ago, we were trying to develop this one and we planted so many flowers and you will see that all around, you will see flowering plants. And you will see the flowers of this bugambilia. And these ornamental plants are really very fat. And this is attributed to the fertilizer that we are actually putting here. We put some rabbit dung and the dried chicken dung and organic materials for that matter. I am so excited because I wanted to develop this place into a business establishment. I would like to make this place as the center for our fish business. And as you can see around, we have so many old aquariums that we are trying to install all around here. And this is so exciting because we will start again the breeding of our flower horns, our tilapia, this hito or the catfish and many more like the goldfish like we did before. And we are trying to make this place as our breeding facility and at the same time, our display center of our produce. And for this year, I think we can realize this one and we can invite people to come here because I'm planning to close the establishment, the commercial establishment at the town because of the high rentals. It's costly to maintain a commercial establishment, especially during these days where the commodities are so high, the rentals are so high, the taxes and everything. So I decided to make the business here in the house. And this is the beginning of our journey in making this as the center for our business of our fish. And today's activity, we will harvest some of our small fish. I already have prepared an aquarium for them. The water had been conditioned already and we are now ready to place the fish inside. And please witness. If you look behind me, you will see that big aquariums. And I tell you that this is already ready for the occupancy of our fish, meaning that the water had been conditioned already. And this is one of the things that we must consider especially if we are new to this hobby. We cannot just put the fish in the new water. We have to condition the water. Of course, there are medicines to condition our water, but it's really safe if you are going to age your water for three days. And you will run the pump, you will run the submersible pump with filter, and then after three days, that's the time that you can already put the fish. But of course, if you are in a hurry, you can also use the water conditioning. That's also safe. But if you will not like to spend the money, then you can age your water for three days. And you look at this aquarium. This is actually six feet by two feet in size and it's the height of the two feet as well. And I would like to make this as our display aquarium for our guppies. This three big tanks is filled with different types of guppies. And if you're gonna display your guppies, of course you can put them together in one big aquarium for display. And then you will select all the males because it's the male that is really very beautiful to see inside the aquarium. And to avoid inbreeding, you have to collect only males. And this is for sale, of course. They are not intended to be bred inside the aquarium. They're intended to be viewed because our breeding tank here contains separate kinds of guppies, meaning we cannot mix them together so as not to tarnish the kind of breed that we have here. And what we are trying to do now is to put in the aquarium different types of male guppies. And this is very exciting because they have different colors. They come in different colors. And I am so fascinated about these guppies because aside from they're so easy to produce, they're also hardy. If we can just provide a good environment for them, like the aquarium, the big aquarium that we have just seen, then we can be entertained by the different types of colors that this guppy has in their bodies.
As you can see here, we have so many of these different types of guppies. We have the yellow guppies, we have this pure black, we have this albino, we have this tuxedo, many more. And we will place this inside the aquarium for conditioning because we are going to sell them. Breeding guppies is one of the good businesses that you can also engage because they are prolific. I already have made mention in my previous videos that breeding of these guppies is actually good because they are not that sensitive. They are just easy to be bred and easy to be cared. And as you can see here, we have this plenty of varieties of guppies and we are intending now to select only the, the male guppies because they are beautiful. They are so beautiful. And this is called the million fish, liked by so many people. And we will now release them here very gradually. So from this aquarium, we will do selection of breeders. We don't need to have so many breeders in your breeding tank. You can just choose 30 females and 10 males and that's it. You can produce many out of those 30. That's why all the rest are for sale already. And what is important in guppy breeding is to be able to maintain the quality of our guppies. We will avoid inbreeding. So you can see here that it's mixed, but this is not the breeding tank. This is just the tank for our video purposes and also for display. We intend to have all the males right here. And then if there are actually females that were accidentally caught, then we will remove that. So the process will begin after they have recovered because this is a new environment, a new place. They are still adjusting. The moment that they can adjust, we will carefully do the process of selection of breeders and then selling the guppies with our mobile store. In so far as breeding of this fish is concerned, I have identified at least three tanks that is really very necessary. And these tanks are called the breeding tank, the grow-out tank, and the conditioning tank. So this is actually our grow-out tank for the Japanese koi. And you will see that we use that drum as our filter bucket. And that drum contains many, like the nets, like the stones, like this carbon, and many more. You can place everything over there. And then, of course, since this is a small tank, we have to aerate, provide, you know, supplement, aerator. We have to aerate the place so that they will not suffer in the digestion. And in this tank, we have released so many fish. In here, we have thousands of Japanese koi. We have hundreds of goldfish. And we also have hundreds of small fish like the tetras. They are all here. And we are set to harvest them in a few weeks to come in order to sell them to the market. That's why I am very excited about this project because it's not my first time to do this. It's been 20 years that I have been in this business and it's doing good until now. These three tanks are actually our filter buckets. Down under, we have so many stones and nets. And we utilize this temporarily for our tilapias. But we already have transferred our tilapias in the breeding tank. And then we decide to have fingerlings of these tilapias in the next coming days. You will see down here, these are filled with azola. And these azola are the main food for our catfish and even other fish like the carps, the Japanese koi, and the goldfish. So growing a sola, especially during summer, is really very important because during summer, they are prolific. 
If the temperature is warm, then this azolla can multiply so massively. But there is a caveat, there is a warning. Because if you are going to put this azolla in a shallow water, the tendency is they will get burned because of the high temperature. Especially now that we reach up to 43 degrees Celsius here in our city. So the azolla should be placed in a tank where there is deep water so that they will survive. They will not be burned. So if you are just here in Zamboanga City, you can visit Sunrise Village, Giwan for our fish. We have coming fish, of course. We have the imported ones. We have this arowanas coming and we have this alligator gars. We have so many of this kind of fish that are coming soon. So as soon as we're gonna be able to install all the aquariums, that's the time that we can invite people here. So that's all that we can share. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos very regularly. And of course, if you will subscribe, you will be notified of our regular uploads. I would like to see you in the next video only here at Dexter's World.